Even though there wasn't really a battle last episode, right? The moments with Iki and Stella, that's actually so good. This is so fun with every The guys simping over Iki too. They just want to be the ladies, man, right? Please teach me the swordsmanship, but they just want to go with the ladies. Stella's peak Sunday, man. It is insane. It's like we're fighting, but what are we fighting for? It's like, I love you. It's like, I love you too. No, I love you more. It's like, what are we doing, guys? It's actually so fun, but hey, we got some student council that's been introduced at the end, and we're up against them. This gonna be good. Let's begin today's reaction. Well, what's fast? Okay, I feel like Iki will just like know where she's coming from, and he's not moving, and he'll just do one slash and she'll run into it. Yeah? Wait, this is a student council? We can't. Just go into the battle right away? The other... He's against Stella, right? The more I spin around these... <laughs> you waited too long, Stella! You're letting him wind up too much! He's charging with attack! I hope... You know, they'll do it. They'll go back into the before this guy started. Hi -yi. What? Are we just off screening these student council fights? Oh shit. You talk your shit, princess. Yeah, Iki's power is way too good against her, right? He can track all her motion. He knows exactly where she's gonna go. They're too strong. That's right. Master and servant. I'm surprised they skipped. It's that girl again. What is this girl? I feel like you're just gonna go for a kiss, though. Stella, get on it first, then. She just always gets the first one. Oh, we can't. We come on, guys. We gotta come on. How could you deny her? It's her again. That's kind of cute that she's trying to you know, act like you get little tree branch props. Who is she? She keeps showing up. That's actually adorable that she thinks that she's being sneaky. We saw her at the pool, right? Stella lost her ball and it hit her. Yeah, come out here. Yeah, you. It's a little bit... Dis oh my god. All right. All right, then. Yeah, at the pool. Careful. Careful, you're gonna fall. She's, uh, very clumsy. Now she's all wet now. How did she even float up like that? Is she good? What? Oh, 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 oh. But what? Can't catch up to him. Is there like a mental block? Maybe you're trying to be like him too much? Yeah, you're trying to be like him. You should take some inspiration, but... No, 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 no. You can't just be like your dad, though. Also... Oh. That is true, physiologically. You should cater toward the style to your own, you know, skill set. I like this new girl, dude. I like her a lot. Suzuku and Stella on the side. They're not too upset? Maybe they will if she... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> Yo! Even her thighs! Wait! Why is there so much sweat suddenly? That was not there before! Yo, her entire body just became pink! Here comes the moans. I've never seen people's thighs get like that. Face can blush up, but her thighs? <laughs> Why is it so moist? Oh. Oh. Their pelvis are wider for birthday. Yeah, you got some childbearing hips, girl. <laughs> Icky! You can see her ass cheeks. You can see her ass cheeks. <laughs> Bro. Bro. That's not sweat anymore, is it? That's not sweat anymore, guys. She going nut. She going nut. Alice, not phased. Whew. I think she nut, dude. No. She actually nut standing up, probably. 
<laughs> you know he didn't mean to do it, but damn, that was a that was one way of doing fan service. Oh, that was faster, more crisp, and she's like, damn. But what did he really do there? Like, she just... Okay? But him just groping her thighs saying, Oh, you have such delicious childbearing hips, girl. And then suddenly now she can move her body better. <laughs> All right. Stella and Shizuku is still so jealous. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. And your hands, they're so good. They're so strong and big and they just grab my firm thighs and I was juiced. You were juicing my thighs, Kurogane-kun. Oh my, you're my, my father's <laughs> Did you just say remind me of your father's hands? Implying that, you know, <laughs> you used to do that too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I like her though. She's great. She like, uh, she's really great. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. No? I think Shizuku doesn't see her as a competition. Yep. Yeah, like you, Stella. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> you know, you got them big milkers. Mm. What about for Stella then? That means you would approve Stella. Mm. What a good sister. Yeah, could you be fine with that, Stella? If, would you be happy if Hiki just got along with someone else and she was so happy? I mean, Stella's been in a sheltered environment, right? The legs are juicy, not fat. Yeah. Maybe more hands-on training? For what, though? What does, she have? does she have some kind of competition? Yeah. Obviously, she's trying to win in the tournaments, too. Maybe we'll have to fight her eventually. Are you up? How was her thighs? <laughs> okay. Huh? What? You trying to hold hands? Iki. Hand? What? Oh? Did, did you want to hold hands? Oh, 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 it's a, oh, this is adorable. This, this is actually adorable. Stella just reaching up and like, hand. Yeah, cause uh, it's normal to get uneasy. That means that you really care about him. Love only you. Oh, it's Suzuku crying right now. Yo, they, fuck the bunk bed, dude. We should break up the bunk bed so we can just have double bed down here and just they can just sleep. Oh, Stella versus her. I thought that maybe Stella would get really upset and like beat her ass, but I think she, you know, that, that confirmation from Miki was good. No, oh, you had to grope her to be her become strong. That's kind of crazy. What? What was stolen? What was stolen? What the fuck is this dude? What the fuck? Dude, that tattoo is so corny. Who are these dudes? Oh, they're third years? This guy looks so cringe, dude. <laughs> that skull tattoo has got cleavage for him. The, the main character of this show. Try it, bro. I can't. This, what, what the fuck is this design? Yo, Iki's eyes, though. Maybe he knows not to fuck with it. You're gonna pour it on his head, won't you? Uh oh. Oh, I thought he would pour it on his head or something. Or bat smash his head with the butt. Okay, there it is. There it is. That motherfucker, dude. <laughs> he is so corny. Yo, fuck him up. Oh? Huh? Who? Student Council. What are you? What are you, dude? Are you also a swordsman? Okay, you got a device. No, no, no. Iki, let, let Iki handle it. This is going to be good. Iki, you better fight. No, don't do this shit. Don't, don't go the high road. No, we need to fight. Fuck on the high road. 
This sucks. Uh, I know that he keeps trying to be the bigger man, right, and do this, but it just fucking infuriates me that we have to just sit down. We, I know that we're stronger, right? Are you serious? I feel like we're getting cooked right now! He better be the next one we're fighting, dude. And in the ring, we'll fuck him up, but... Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. You know what? This is being the bigger man. True strength, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know if that was me, I would have been like, Itoshira, and his head would have fucking gone off. Really? Oh. But yeah, what's the ISA's like? Uh, another student council member who stands out he's the ace of the academy oh that, that's funny he hates anyone that stands out that's why he has that design the skull fucking tattoo top eight that's actually impressive Yo, who is this though? This is Zami. You know, she's student council too, right? Well, you know those two student council members we beat earlier this episode? I... I hope these two are better because they got off screen. Oh, he can heal? There's no way he's the one that hospitalized the dad, right? That's her next match? Why can't it be the topic? Oh, this is... Getting tragic. What the? Oh, this sucks. This fucking sucks. He was being smart, but I think he understands. He was top eight. I'm sure he knows that you know Iki is different. Yeah, that's not gonna happen if you're against Iki, man. Oh, this fucking sucks. There is no hope. That's right. I don't want to see this. This is so cruel. Hmm? What do you mean? He would like sabotage him? Would Ayase do something underhanded like that? Yeah. I will cut Ayase down if it needs to be. Here we go. Oh no. Why is she smiling? Why she got that evil look? That's not her! Wait, what? Could it be that Ayase was actually hiding her true self all this time? I don't know. Throughout the entire episode, she looked really normal, right? I don't, I don't think that's... I don't think that's kind of her character. But again, we don't really know her. Maybe this is all an act. Man, we really got to fight her. I mean, it seems like we're going to do it on the rooftop. She's not going to win. There's no fucking way she wins. But there's got to be some weird twist to it where the guy that was kind of bullying in the restaurant ties into this. I don't really know. But I can't wait until the match that we fight the top 8 guy. Oh, this shit gonna be good. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.